Hey y'all, what's going on? It's me, Laura, and welcome to my channel. Okay, y'all, we are on the way to brunch. Okay, so it is Saturday, February the 3rd. Oh my goodness, it's already February 3rd. And we're on our way to our brunch. It's our first brunch of February. I'm sorry, it's a little shaky. Let's see. You know, we on these Dallas highways and these Dallas streets, so it is what it's I is. But y'all, let me tell y'all what happened today. So, I'm pretty sure that I'm inserting in this vlog a clip of a cat. Yes, a stray cat, a big one, more like a Black Panther who ran into my apartment. Like, I am preparing to move and so I'm going through all of my stuff, I'm going through everything and getting rid of a lot of things because I've been living here for like almost four years now. So I'm going through all of my stuff and I got some bags of trash outside and you know, since my car accident, I can't really be doing all of that. So I was hiring somebody and I was taking a picture of how many bags there were um, in the pile for them. As I'm taking the picture, of course I leave the door open, like I'm literally right there. Um, I take the picture and I see the Black Panther run into my apartment. I'm like, what the fuck? Now the problem with it is, is that I recently did a, a video on TikTok. You can also go follow me over there if you would like. I, I think I post a little more frequently over there. But I posted a video on my TikTok of all of these stray cats that were like congregating at the pool. So I'm just like, I'm sick of these cats. And now one of the cats done ran up in my apartment and chilling. <laughs> like don't nobody else pay rent up in there can't nobody else be chilling up in my apartment like that's just not gonna work <laughs> like come on y'all I don't like cats dogs like any really animals like I had a dog for a pet but I have never had a cat as a pet that is just not anything that interests me and I'm scared of cats and dogs okay I'm scared of them so I look on my phone and try to call like an animal at the animal control and they don't open until 11. I call a non-emergency number. I can't even, they have all of these prompts and I'm just like kind of freaking out at this pump at this moment because I want the cat out of my house. Like I just want it out. And as I walk in, it smells like a fucking outside cat. I digress. So, <laughs> uh, so I, I go to the door and I'm like banging on the door tapping on the door like maybe the sounds will get the cat out of my house so I'm tapping on the door with my nails tap 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 and I'm like here kitty 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 here kitty kitty here kitty kitty hoping that works because again I don't know how to summon a cat like I don't know what kind I don't know how you tell a cat to come here I don't know if this cat speaks English if it's bilingual, like I don't know nothing. So here Kitty Kitty was all that Kitty Kitty was gonna get, okay? So the cat, I see it come from out of my room. The cat comes from out of my room. I get the cat and it actually comes out of the house, out of the apartment. So as I'm walking, like it comes out, you know, and I think it's scared of me just as much as I'm scared of it. So like, we, we both scared of each other. And <laughs> I'm walking away. Well, I start walking towards the door so I could close it. And then the cat, as I start walking towards the door, it runs back in my house again. So now I'm real pissed off. I'm just... I'm frustrated, I'm, I'm confused, I'm scared, I can't think straight, you know, like, I was in panic mode, and I'm not really a panic mode kind of person, 
And I think the reason why is because like, I'm literally going through everything in my apartment. And so it's stuff like that I've just thrown everywhere because I know what I'm doing, you know? Cause I, when it comes to packing and getting ready to move, I'm that bitch. Like I can do some videos on that, but anyway. Call the cat again. And this time the cat just won't, it won't listen. It's not coming close to me at all. So, <laughs> once I know the cat not, not coming, like I'm trying to find help. <laughs> like I give up on trying to call somebody, like I need help right now. So I hear some people downstairs talking and it's the maintenance guys. And the first maintenance guy, like I'm like, hey, and he starts running the opposite direction because apparently some fool is trying to take something out of the dumpster, okay? Because this is where we're at. This this is where we're at in 2024. Somebody trying to take something out of the dumpster. So he's running to try to get him away from dumpster diving. Then you had the other maintenance guy. And I'm like, hey, hey, amigo, amigo. And he's like, hey, Paso. I was like, uh, it's a cat in my apartment. He was like, the black cat? Yes, the black cat. Everybody knows about this black cat, but yet it still lives at the apartments rent free. I, I don't I don't understand. Dang y'all, I just missed my, my turn. Well, actually I turned early. Talking to y'all, talking to y'all. Anyway. <laughs> He knew about the cat. He knew about the black, the black one. Yeah, the black one. Ugh. So he was, he was laughing. He always laughing at me. So while he laughing, I'm like, come on. Like, he's like, come on. He's like, here I come, here I come, here I come. Fuck the people trying to steal the trash out the dumpster. Come get this cat out of my house. He said, I don't know what to do. You gonna figure it out, Carlos, cause I know you, you a smart man. So, Carlos, listen, we call him in, I say we, I call him in to, to fix something on the, the washer. I don't know how he knew the dishwasher need fixed, but he, I mean the garbage disposal, but he fixed the garbage disposal too, it was broke, so hey. But anyway, he came upstairs and I, he was like, where's the cat? And as I went into the apartment, I saw the cat on the patio because I had left the patio door open in case it went outside. Like, bitch, go. So it had went out on the patio and I was like, it's outside, it's outside. So I closed the door and there is another door, like a patio, like an exit door, I guess, on my patio where you can get outside. And so he, uh, the maintenance guy said, let's open that door and let it run out. And I was like, okay, so Carlos, the maintenance guy, Carlos got the broom. So I had a broom right there. And then I heard the broom going back and forth, going back and forth. And then I heard her, and then I saw the cat run out that, that door. And I was like, get out of here. You fucking feline. So of course that shit pissed me off because like I'm tired of these cats they like whine and scream and all of that nasty shit I'm tired of them so I go to the office because it's already one thing for the cats to be out here on the prowl but when they start coming inside like they done got too bold and it's time for you to get the hell out of Dodge right so I go into the office and I'm like hey y'all it's your favorite resident and the assistant manager is laughing cause she already know me. You know, we done had our little uh, good times together. So, you know, she already laughing and I'm like, listen, I don't know where this cat, all of these stray cats coming from, but I'm tired of it. The cat came in my apartment today. She said, in your apartment? I said, in there. And was hiding under the bed. And she was like, oh no, like how did it get in? I told her what, what I was doing, I had the door open. I was standing outside in front of the door and the, the black panther pad just, the black panther cat 
just ran up in there like like he was invited and i didn't know such thing so anywho i told her i was tired of it and i was putting a letter on those people's doors because they can't you know they can't be feeding the cats like you keep feeding it it ain't gonna go nowhere it's gonna keep on staying okay and that's what was going on <clears throat> So she was like, well, I told her, I said, I'm putting a note on their door. I don't care. She's like, Miss Bryant, don't put a note on their door. Okay. Uh, you know, just let me know what apartment numbers it is. So I was like, okay. Cause I'm really tired of this. Like I done been stalked by those cats. Like I'm trying to go upstairs to my apartment and the cats trying to come up there with me. You know, I'm trying to shoot a cat away. Like, I shouldn't have to do all of this stuff. And if I'm sitting on the patio, I hear all of the cats, like, screaming. And, you know, they be in heat and stuff, trying to get on. Like, I don't I don't own any cats. I don't want any cats. And I don't want to hear about all of these cats. Like, absolutely not. I don't care about the stray cats of TikTok. No, I don't care about that. So... I told her, so I end up leaving. I go home, I make my signs, and I go and tape them to their door. And I'll insert a clip of the the signs that I put up there. And it says, please, it said not please, because you don't get please. <coughs> it just says, stop feeding the damn cats. And I put them on the two doors of the residents that be feeding the cats. <coughs> Stop feeding the damn cats. So, this morning, well, I hadn't heard anything from them, which I didn't expect to, but this morning, I was leaving my house to head to brunch, and I get to my car and this lady walks up to me. Now I know it's the lady that lives in one of the apartments that I put the note on the door of. So I know who this person is. She comes up to me with her hands on her hip. Let's see if I could, with her hand on her hip. And she's talking and she speaks Spanish. So she's speaking Spanish into her phone with her hand on her hip and then does this. Like, put the phone in front of my face so I can read what the fuck she just texted in her phone. And she says, uh, and, and it says, are you the one who put the note on my door? And I said, yes, si, si senora. And she was like, I don't understand what, why you have a problem with my cat outside or some, some bullshit like that. And I was like, because cats don't go outside when you live in an apartment, they live inside with you. And I said, and your cat came into my apartment on yesterday and I don't appreciate that. So she wrote me back with her hands on her hip. And I think that was the thing, like she was talking Spanish, but she had her hand on her hip and she was going off in Spanish to her phone. And then she would flip the phone around like that to me. Bitch, don't do that. But anyway, I digress. So she flipped the phone around and was like, uh, <clears throat> well, I have to leave the cat somewhere when I go to work. I can't just leave it outside. And I said, that's not my problem. Everybody else leaves their pets in the house when they leave to go to work during the day. You should do the same thing. And she said, well, the apartments never said nothing about it. They probably don't know. They probably don't know that you letting your fucking cat out to roam the apartments all day while you're at work and leaving food outside for it. No, that's not okay. That's never okay. Like, show me where that's okay. And I'll shut the fuck up. Okay? She couldn't do that. So she said... Well, let's just go to the Lisa office. Man, we can go to the Lisa office all day long, but you wrong as hell and I need to go to brunch. So we go to the Lisa office 
And inside the Lisa office is another man that lives in our building. He actually lives downstairs on the bottom from the cat lady. I live on the third floor, she on the second floor, he on the first floor. And um, I was like, hey, how you doing? You doing all right? And he was like, yeah, I'm good. I was like, okay, I'm sick of this lady. She want to come to this office about some cats. And these are, you know, she's feeding the cats. And she mad because I put a note on her door and asked her to stop feeding the damn cats. And he was like, I'm sick of those cats too. I know the fuck you are. I know you are because you live... You right there with the cats too. You right there with the cats too. So he was like, well, y'all can go ahead and go in front of me. He said, cause I'm tired of those cats and I want them gone. Then he said, uh, if you need some backup, you know, I live in apartment one, two, three, just let them know. Like I stand behind you a hundred percent. Thank you boss. I appreciate that. So the assistant manager comes out of the office. Now she's in her office with a, a potential resident. So I felt a little bad that this was finna go down, but like at the same time, I didn't give a damn. Um, so she was like, hey, now mind you, I just spoke with her the previous day. So she already know. I was like, hey, this is the lady who lives below me with the cats I said and I put a note I know you told me not to but I put a note on her door asking them not to feed the damn cats and she was just like I said did, now this woman told me in text speak to text translate app that it is her black cat and that she leaves it out during the day hell she leaves it out at night too but we ain't going there. She leaves it out during the day so that, you know, because she's going to work. And I said, I told her that's not my problem. The cat needs to stay in the house because it's not outside. This ain't your damn backyard. Okay? This is not a backyard. And then I told the, the assistant manager, the, the lady's like, I'm uh, Espanol. And she was like, no, can you type it? And the lady was typing.